Greetings and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. This is where I give a little bit of a, an overview of what uh, the message will be for this coming Sunday. Sunday is the fifth Sunday of Easter and it's the fifth Sunday in uh, or the fourth Sunday in this actual message series but there's yeah, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Over these weeks I've been looking at some of the truths that sit in the presence of the Acts of the Apostles especially, but also coming through the Gospel of John, which has been the predominant readings for our, our Sunday liturgies. This weekend we look at the Acts of the Apostles in particular. Paul and Barnabas have uh, faced difficulties and they acknowledge and accept the hardships they've had to undertake, rejoiced in them, but there's always a sense of transparency. There's, there's no sense that what they're doing is easy and that what they're preaching, the message they're spreading throughout the countryside and as they're moving into new parts of the of the known world, that the message is going to be readily accepted or, and for that matter, easily accepted. It really is a great deal of challenge uh, uh, coming up against roadblocks constantly and yet there is always this powerful presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives, the presence of the Spirit that says to them, this is what God has called us to do, and we are simply doing the work of the Lord. And that's a message for us in our world today. There are many roadblocks to what it means to be a member of the Christian community today. There are lots of ways in which people, good people, can fall uh, astray because of choices they make and decisions they make that don't really conform to how God is inviting them to live, to be people of life and to be people of love. And we all are in need of constant reminder that we are a people called to turn back our hearts to the Lord and to be renewed in his presence. And so as we head into this fifth Sunday of Easter, and as we continue this message series, Compelling Truths or Truths That Matter, we're being reminded that being transparent about how we live and what we proclaim is really important. And it's a very brave person who would say that they've always been transparent and they've always been honest. So let us pray that we will hear God's word, we will turn our hearts back to the Lord, and in fact accept this invitation to be a people of faith and to be a people of love. Have a great week. Look forward to catching you next time on my Wednesday ramblings.